Right now, we're going to turn everything over to Stasia Fletcher again. She is going to talk a little bit about some of the creatures we have here in the Discovery Lab and maybe show you some of them eating. And I'm going to hand this over to you and let you take over. All right, welcome, welcome to seeing some of the animals that we have in the Discovery Labs here at the Monterey Bay Aquarium. I wanted to introduce you to some of my favorites, and the one that we have right here um, is an animal that creates this shell. It's a beautiful shell. The animal has body parts that build the shell itself, so you can't take the animal out of this shell. Um, this animal is a type of snail, and snails and their relatives are often shell builders. And the shell functions a lot like a hard hat. So if you've ever been on a construction site, you've probably had to wear a hard hat to protect your head. Well, the shell on this animal, an abalone, functions much like a hard hat. So it provides protection to the animal that lives in an area where they're often pounding waves and heavy surf. So the abalone is a pretty cool animal, I think. And it's a type of snail that has also a pretty amazing tongue. So if you stick your tongue out right now, you go ahead and I give you permission to stick your tongue out. It's, it's pretty flimsy. Um, it's not, we, we have a pretty flimsy tongue. It's squishy. If you were to take a super close up look, at the abalone's tongue, this is what it would look like. And that's pretty amazing. The tongue, called the radula, is designed to be really good at scraping things. And I'm going to feed the abalone's here in just a second um, some of their favorite food. And you'll be able to see why the radula is so important if you're an abalone. So abalone, you find them down at the bottom of the rocky shores or in the kelp forest. And they love to eat kelp. So we've got a little bin of giant kelp here. I'm going to take a part of a blade of kelp. And I'm going to place it down by the tentacles. And you can see they look like little eyelashes here along the edge of the animal. Some sensory tentacles. And let's see how the animal responds to having kelp in the water. Wow, look at it, wake up. And you can see the animal is using this fleshy structure right here called the foot to hold on to the seaweed, pass it to the mouth, and then the radula will get busy um, scraping the kelp into pieces that the abalone can eat. And look, this abalone down here is saying, hey, I want that piece, so we'll give, we'll make sure that that abalone has some kelp as well. But amazing animals that live right here in Monterey Bay.